Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about how Disney Plus just removed the spectacular Spider-Man. I am very, very shocked and surprised by this because Disney Plus is home to Marvel and Spider-Man is Marvel, despite the live action stuff being over to Sony. This is... <coughs> I, I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> and normally I'm not even speechless because it's kind of like, in my opinion, that was the second best Spider-Man cartoon series ever. And if they're willing to get rid of Spider-Man of all things, which is a huge draw for so many people, what else are they willing to like get rid of? And it sucks because I got Disney Plus and there are some things I want to watch on there but I haven't had the time because I've been like busy and also I have all these other streaming sites and their like subs about to expire soon. So I've been like doing that and so it's kind of like, you know, I wanted to re-go back and re-watch some of these older Marvel cartoon series and geez, it looks like I can't even re-watch this but I do have it on DVD the first season but not the second. And so it's kind of baffling, man, because it's kind of like, yeah, if they're willing to get rid of Spider-Man of all things, then what else are they going to get rid of? I need to go back and rewatch um, Wolverine and the X-Men before they take that off. Because <laughs> I've been wanting to rewatch that for a while to see if I should like, you know, because I, I particularly didn't like it, but it was all right. See, this is the David Zaslav effect. This is what there is. Once he started taking stuff off, all these other streamers started taking things off too. Now, I am kind of curious. Could this be, like, have anything to do with Sony, I wonder? Because, you know, they do own some of the rights to Spider-Man, like the live action stuff. But what about animation-wise? That's always been, like, with Disney Marvel. Jeez. And I thought stuff would be like, you know, you always think when it comes to things like Disney Plus, you know, things would be safe, especially when it's their own stuff. But I guess not. But then this should have taught people a lesson. Cause remember a couple of months ago, back in May, they took off a lot of their stuff. Oh, but you know what I'm wondering now? Could this have anything to do with them buying out Hulu? Because they're going to have to get rid of some stuff in order to make room for other things. And they, of course, they don't like paying people money, especially for residuals and stuff. So that money gotta go somewhere so if they can get rid of something, I guess they chose to get rid of that for whatever bizarre reason. But for now, all people know is that it's been taken off. Why exactly? Nobody knows. I'm so pissed I could flip a table. Mufasa did not die for this. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.